Yo, what is up? This is Joking Johnson. Before and today, I'm gonna set you up the Colts death chart, and uh, the Colts are pretty much uh, almost a powerhouse because uh, the linebackers are probably like a little bit too weak for you guys, but still, they can actually perform on the field. So let's go check it out. As you can see, at quarterback we got Andrew Luck. The guy can run, by the way, so you might wanna, you know, set up some few options here and there with Andrew Luck. At running back we got Trent Richardson and Donald Brown, but we're gonna put in a Mark Bradshaw's backup. So now we're gonna have a one-two punch with Richardson and Bradshaw. Now Richardson might not get a lot of yards in real life, right? But in the game, the guy's a beast. He can actually break a lot of tackles, and uh, you can expect this guy to get over more than uh, 80 yards per game in, in, in online. So uh, make sure you keep Richardson a starter. Bradshaw's backup, so you can have a one-two punch going on here, and uh, you know. Trent Richardson is a little bit more faster than Bradshaw, so you want, might want to, you know, decide here. But I, I prefer myself to, uh, you know, start Richardson because he's a powerhouse, by the way. Uh, it's a beast. So, anyways, moving on to the fullback position, we're gonna put Wayne Allen in the, as a backup fullback, so he can appear in the kick return, so he can be, uh, so he can have better, you know, uh, coverage, not coverage, uh, better blocking and kick return. So, make sure to have Wayne Allen as backup. In the wide receiver position, we've got T.Y. Hilton and Dale, uh, Darius Hayward Bay, but that's not going to happen. We're going to put Reggie Wayne, who's injured, who's currently injured in real life, but uh, he's off for season. But we're going to put him as starter, so uh, we can have an actual receiver there. Because, you know, T.Y. Hilton and uh, Darius Hayward Bay, they can't really catch. So you might want to, you know, think about Reggie Wayne a little bit more when it comes down to uh, third down situation. So... Reggie Wayne is your guy for the curl route. Reggie Wayne is your guy for the short passes. He's always going to be there for you. For the long passes, I don't know about Darius Harry Bay and T.Y. Hilton. You got to think twice about it. But, you know, Reggie Wayne is always going to be there for you because he's, uh, you know, a possession receiver. And uh, he's going to be, uh, you know, he's going to be there for every single catch. So, as backup, we're going to put, um, I don't know, you might want to decide here because, uh, well, let's go check the catching traffic. As we can see in the catching traffic, T.Y. Hilton has more. So, we're going to put T.Y. Hilton as a third stringer and there was here bait as a, as a starter so in order for us to have like the third stringer the, the you know the inside receiver uh to have more possible you know, you know percentage of catching the ball inside the you know the, the middle part of the field ty hilton's gonna be your guy so make sure you keep him here keeping the uh, third stringer so moving on to the fourth stringer levon brazil is gonna be there or david we may have whatever we want because you know, all these receivers are the same thing. One of them have more catching, some of them have more speed. So you might want to start, you know, uh, looking at the four stringers. But, you know, most of the time you're not even going to go with, with uh, four receivers because you got a tight end named Kobe Fleener. Now, this guy's a beast also, six foot six. And, uh, you know, he can catch any ball you throw to him. So Kobe Fleener is going to be your fourth guy every time you go down to a four receiver offense. So uh, Dwayne Allen is going to be your backup because he can catch more than Jack Doyle. And uh, so, yeah. Justin Cunningham also put him in there. Uh, no, no, never mind. Just keep the oil in there. Uh, the left tackle position, we got Anthony Costanzo. And the left guard position, we're going to have someone out. So make sure you put this guy as a starter. Donald Fahm is going to be your main guy starting in your left guard position. In the center, we got Sam Stilly. Right guard, we don't have any right guards that can actually play wide guard. So, uh, so yeah, you, you might, you got to keep this guy there. Even though it looks like a pretty much low overall, you got to keep him there because there's no one else to replace him. Um, got right tackle right there. The left end, we got Corey Redding. Right tackle, right end, we got Ricky, Ricky uh, Jim Franzois. But uh, I don't know, you wanna. This is the big deal here. If you play a four down lineman in your defense, make sure you put Robert Mathis as your right end. But he can also, you know, somehow penetrate with a 3 4. So um, what I do usually, I put Robert Mathis as right end most of the time and take out, you know, Gene Francois because I don't know, I don't feel like this guy can actually get in there, so I put Mathis all the time, but when it comes down to a 3-4, you know, I might struggle a little bit and might have Mathis out for the, you know, defense, but, you know, still, this guy's going to be out there somehow, and you can see him penetrate through the through the guard strike real easily because this guy, it is, uh, you know, pretty much a powerhouse when it comes down to the lineman. And uh, but you, you can trust them. You can trust them in like in every position, like in three four and in the four three. But uh, you know, you're really gonna see him in the, in the making a play in the defense. But you know, it's good to keep him there sometimes. He can get sometimes the sack. He can get, he can get those pass rushes going on. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna take away Jim Francois and uh, put him here as a second string DT. 
Uh, left outside linebacker, you can leave Eric Walden. That's a, he's, he's actually a great heavy hitter. I already tried him a few times. Gerald Freeman, Pat Anger, right outside linebacker. We're going to have someone else. Um, I don't know if we're, we're going to have to put Stud back there. There's no one else in here. So he's going to be your starter. That's a right outside linebacker. The cornerback position, we got Vontae Davis, Greg Toller, Darius Butler, and Cassius Vaughn. Nothing to change here, nothing much. Um, nothing new here either, and always injured. So this is pretty much a cornerback setup. At the free safety position, we got LaRon Landry. The guys are pretty much have a heavy, heavy hitter also. And in terms of that, also a heavy hitter. Great tackler, by the way. So uh, you pretty much set up on the safety positions. Kickers, um, you know, it's Adam and Terry, Pat McAfee. And the kick return, you might want to put T.Y. Hilton. He's the fastest guy you can put in there. Or catch his bomb, but this guy's going to probably, you know, drop the ball. So make sure they read there in the backup. Just in case you're going to return or, uh, to, uh, to return or uh, you know, play in the kick return. Uh, turn it just in there. You might want to put a mod Bradshaw, actually, you know, try him out a little bit there, but you know, I think he's going to fumble most of the time. I know this guy fumbles in the most crucial time, so just keep David Reed and T.Y. Hilton in there. The punt return is going to be T.Y. Hilton, David Reed, and Brazo. That's, that's Those are the only guys there. Kickoff, well, we're going to check the kick power. Whoever has the most kick power, you're going to, you're going to put him in there. 98, 95. Wow, McAfee's pretty good. So, old Minitary's no longer a kickoff guy. So, McAfee is going to be there. Line of scrimmage, well, we don't change that. Nobody's going to finish it down the middle. Uh, third down running back, we have Trent Richardson and Mod Bradshaw. I think you might want to put a Mod Bradshaw since he can catch a little bit more than Trent Richardson, I think. So, oh, never mind. Richardson can catch. Actually, you got it wrong here. So that's more catching the traffic. So keep Trent Richardson as third down running back just in case you want to send him in the wheel or something like that. Uh, Vic Ballard as the uh, third. So there you go. That's pretty much the Colts uh, death chart setup. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys, you know, feel like there needs to be a change around the defense because I know the defense is mostly like, you know, controversial because you, you go sometimes people go 4-3 and some, sometimes people go 3-4, 2-2-5, you know, just random shit like that. And, you know, you, you might want to change. You might want to play around with Mathis. That's the only guy you can, you can play around in the linebacker position. That's pretty much it. Mathis is the only guy you're going to be moving around, like, because you need to get someone in there most of the time. So Mathis is going to be your guy, you know, that needs to be in there because this, this guy is the best pass rush in defense. But that's the only guy you're going to be messing around with when it comes down to a 3-4 and a 4-3. So this is pretty much it, guys. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and tell me what team to do next because the uh, Colts is pretty much a great team and an underdog team that rarely anybody uses. Mostly everyone, everyone uses the Seahawks, the 49ers, uh, what else, the, the, the Saints. Uh, you know, there's a lot of teams going on there. But, you know, I, I'd rather, you know, work with the underdog teams so I can let you guys know which teams are good. The Colts is pretty much a good team. You should really use them in the online world. So I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day.